When comic book writers create superheroes, they can draw inspiration from all kinds of sources. They can be based on real people, perhaps someone the writers know personally, or a famous person they admire. Or they can be based on other fictional characters. But sometimes they're quite clearly blatant ripoffs of other comic book characters. Marvel and DC may be bitter rivals, but that hasn't stopped them from taking inspiration from each other on numerous occasions when it comes to character creation. In some cases, it's to the extent that you could even say they stole from each other. Whether it's a character's name, their appearance, or their general concept or shtick, a number of Marvel and DC characters were obviously copied. Here are 10 superheroes you didn't know were stolen. Wolverine. In most of these cases, the stolen characters are either nowhere near as popular as the characters they were based on, or, at best, they've merely equaled the popularity of their templates. However, in Wolverine's case, he's surpassed the character he was based on by a large margin. That character was Timberwolf, a DC character who first appeared in 1964, 10 years before Wolverine. And the similarities between the two are staggering. For starters, they look almost identical. But the fact that they were both experimented on and both have similar powers confirms that Wolverine was stolen by Marvel. Both characters have superhuman reflexes, enhanced senses, regeneration and healing powers, claws, super strength, and both are prone to violent outbursts. Who knew the most famous X-Men was ripped off from DC? Hawkeye Hawkeye is the first character on this list to prove that character stealing is a two-way street between Marvel and DC. Having first appeared in 1964, he arrived a massive 23 years after Green Arrow and is blatantly modeled on his DC counterpart. They're both ordinary humans fighting alongside gods and metahumans. They both lost their parents at a young age. Green Arrow has a close relationship with Black Canary and Hawkeye is close to Black Widow. And, of course, there's the most obvious similarity in that they're both incredibly skilled with a bow and arrow. Cyborg Cyborg, aka Victor Stone, is a DC character and a prominent member of the Justice League and Teen Titans. He first appeared in 1980 and was quite obviously copied from a Marvel concept that first hit comic books in 1974. That Marvel concept is Deathlock, the name of several characters who had died and were reanimated using cybernetic technology, which is exactly what happened with Stone. Although the Deathlock title has been bestowed on a number of characters, what they all have in common with Stone is a constant struggle to retain their humanity and a difficulty in coming to terms with being part machine. Sentry There are so many Superman analog characters in comic books that we could easily fill a video with them, but one of the most obvious examples is Marvel's Sentry. The man known as Robert Reynolds does have some powers that differentiate him from the Man of Steel, but his power set is more or less the same as Superman's. He possesses super strength, super speed, incredible durability, and flight. But Superman came 62 years before Sentry, way back in 1938. And when you also bear in mind that the latter wears a tight-fitting costume with a cape and has an S on his chest, the fact that he was a stolen idea becomes all the more blatant. Rocket Red While there's no concrete evidence to suggest that the idea for Rocket Red was stolen from Marvel by DC, the comparisons with a certain well-known character are obvious. Iron Man first appeared back in 1963, and Rocket Red didn't surface for another 24 years. And while Tony Stark is an American billionaire and Dmitry Pushkin is a kind-hearted Russian with a taste for American culture, the red-powered armor worn by the latter was obviously copied from that of Iron Man. Then when you consider the fact that Iron Man is a member of the Avengers, and Rocket Red fought with DC's counterpart, the Justice League, you can clearly see where the influence for the character came from. Aquaman When it comes to underwater superheroes, there's nobody more well known than DC's Aquaman. Although he's often unfairly the butt of jokes, he's also an undeniably iconic character and a founding member of the Justice League of America. But he was actually a stolen idea, inspired by Marvel's Namor the Submariner. The two characters' personalities couldn't be more different, but their origins are near identical. They're both royalty from Atlantis, and were both born when sea-dwelling princesses liaised with human men. And with Namor first appearing in 1939, a full two years before Aquaman, it's obvious that it was Marvel's idea being stolen. Power Princess Power Princess, also known as Zarda, is Marvel's belated answer to Wonder Woman, and the idea for the character was clearly stolen from DC's iconic warrior albeit 41 years after Wonder Woman first appeared back in 1941. Like Wonder Woman, Zarda was raised on an isolated and hidden island called Utopia Isle, and is a Greek goddess. She also became the first emissary to Earth, fought in World War II, and became romantically involved with the first guy she met outside of her home island, just like her DC counterpart. Not only that, but their powers and abilities are strikingly similar, all of which is clear evidence that Marvel liked what they saw with Wonder Woman and stole the idea. Swamp Thing DC's Swamp Thing is probably the most obvious ripoff of a Marvel character, that character being Man-Thing. 
Their names are obviously similar, they look the same as each other, and their powers and backstories are almost identical. It should come as no surprise then that Swamp Thing's creator, Len Wein, was living with Man-Thing's co-creator, Jerry Conway, at the time of the latter's creation. Man-Thing first appeared on panel in May of 1971 and then two months later in July, Swamp Thing emerged. Wein had clearly and shamelessly stole the idea from his housemate. The Swamp is me. I am the Swamp. Bumblebee DC's Bumblebee is the alter ego of the company's first African-American superheroine, Karen Beecher Duncan. Having first appeared as Beecher Duncan in 1976 and a year later in her superpowered form, the character's concept is clearly stolen from Marvel's Wasp, who predates her by 13 years. Both characters are tiny in size but display an increase in strength in that form, although Wasp can regrow to normal size and Bumblebee can't and there are parallels in their physical appearances and their more intricate powers and abilities, such as the powerful, concussive blast that each character can expel. Deadpool After starring in a fantastic 2016 movie, Deadpool is the man of the moment in the superhero world. But Marvel's Merc with a Mouth was actually quite clearly ripped off from a DC character. Deathstroke, aka Slade Wilson, first appeared in 1980, while Deadpool, whose real name Wade Wilson is very similar to his DC counterparts, didn't appear until 11 years later. Both characters are morally ambiguous anti-heroes and mercenaries, both gain their healing abilities through experiments, they both have severe disfigurements that prompt them to wear extremely similar looking costumes, and both use guns, explosives, and bladed weapons. Although Deadpool is a hell of a lot crazier than Deathstroke. Shit. Did I leave the stove on? Thanks for watching our list of 10 superheroes you didn't know were stolen. Did any of these surprise you? Did we leave any major examples out? Let us know in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.